Hello everyone, you are watching Coursera programming and in this video I will show you how to write the program for week 9 program 1 NPTEL course on problem solving through programming C. So the question says write a program to print all the location or which a particular element is found in a list and also print the total number of times it occurs in the list. The location starts from 1. For example, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 5, 7. So if the element to be searched is 5, then it will say that 5 is present in 1, 5 is present in 3 and number of time 5 is present is 2. So what we will do is copy the given program. The I have already copied in this copied here. Okay, let's check see. So you can see it is present here. Now we will write the program. So you can see that the array of 100 size is given. Search n count is zero. N is the number of elements taken from the test case. And num a for loop is run for to enter the elements of the array and scan it to search the number. Now what we'll do is we will run a for loop for i. Okay, for i will be equals to zero and i equals to n. And I have to initialize integer. Um, so we have to integer, integer i. Okay. Now we will run for the check. So if if the condition will be array of i equals to equals to the number to be searched is ACA RCA search then the code will be from here is present copy and paste it here using the print function so we will print f and we paste it ok so the values will be search then the other value for second d will be i plus 1 ok and whenever it happens we will uh, use the count to store the number of elements so count is to say ok so count will be plus plus ok then after that we will again write a printf function and this time we will print this copy it will be comma c a s k c a s c h search and d will be count if so here we will enter we will write a if code so if c equals to equals to 0 the code will be printf and this d is not present in the array so what we do is paste it here and comma search okay and we are done and here we will write else where the code will be the printed function that is from here and paste it here and we are done so let us now copy the file from here and check it
Okay, wrong answer. Fifty is not present. Okay, it's a simple problem. Fifty is present. Zero time will be added. So what the problem shows that if C is zero, okay, okay. So no, that's not C. That is count. Yeah, that was the mistake. So we can change it here in place of C, the count, and get that. Okay. And submit. Okay, we got two cases passed and hundred out of hundred. So now we will go for the second question. Write a C program to search element from a body and display the position at which it is found to be using linear search function. The index starts from one. Okay. So what we'll do? We will copy this part. Copy it. Make a new. Save it as. Linear, uh, linear underscore search dot c paste it here. Okay. Now we have an array of hundred search will be element to search. C is the counter. N is the number of element in the array. So N is the number of element in the array. We have an array array scanner the number to be searched. So we will just write a simple for loop for which will be i and it will be i is equal to zero i smaller than and it will be n. We have to first initialize i integer integer i. Okay. Now what we'll do is if condition will be array of i equals to equals to search then what we'll do is print this printf copy okay so position okay so I cannot use I here in place of i, I have to use position. Okay, position. In place of a position. Okay, and if Nine is not present. Okay, and I will place a counter here. C plus plus. Now after this for loop, I will just write a if statement. If I. Okay, so if C equals to equals to zero. Then we'll just copy this. Printf is not present. Comma search copy. Let's go down, 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 and it will be pasted here. Let us now check the function. So we have to write on more bracket. In Visual Studio, the color coding gives a good idea of how to write the program. So it makes it easy for everyone. Control V and then compile. Mm. Okay, both cases have been passed and let us submit. Guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe it now 
as we will be providing okay so we have a small problem out here it's one out of one test pass so what is the problem we have to check is that mm. okay 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 so the thing that c has to be initialized to 0 as c's value has not been initialized That is check now. Okay, see, that's the problem that were making the big issue. So thank you for watching, and I will upload the next three videos in one, uh, th next three programs in one video. And please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to visit our site, which is codesetter.in, where you can get all the videos that we put in one area and all other programming languages such as python c programming all the materials required to study in one place from various other sources so you will get the best study material for yourself thank you for watching and i see you guys in the next video